A variable frequency drive plays an important role in speed and torque regulation, energy saving, and efficiency improvement. However, there are a variety of VFDs on the market, making it difficult to know which one is the best. That's why we are here to help. We've put together a list of key factors that should guide your buying decision. Before you dive into the VFD itself, it is helpful to understand the critical motor specifications that will help narrow down options for the optimum sized unit. Selecting a VFD does require some understanding of the electrical service and application load on your site. Single phase power is commonly used in household situations, while industrial power systems often have three phase power for running heavy duty equipment. So, if you're feeding the drive with three phase power to control a three phase motor, then the three phase VFD will be the proper choice. However, for a single input, things will be different according to the motor's phase specification. In the case where you have a three phase motor but are limited to single power, we have VFDs that can serve as a phase converter. If you have a single phase motor, things will get easier. Just make sure the VFD's ratings match your single phase power supply capabilities. In case you have a three phase motor and you're about to fit it with DC or photovoltaic power, then the DC input VFD will come into handy. Follow amps are what a VFD will be sized over. Check the motor nameplate for the foot load current specification, then match your motor's FLA needs with the minimum amp ratings of your target drive. Pay attention, the FLA is not necessarily the rated current. To acquire the actual FLA, you need to first determine your application objectives and working conditions for a better estimation of the relationship between the motor's actual working current and working time. In general, it's advisable to consider the sizing of the VFD in accordance with the type of controlled object. If the VFD you are considering is used for constant torque loads or applications, specify your VFD based on the motor's rated current. This criterion also applies when you need to run applications like a fan or pump. However, for motors that often operate under short-term overload, it is necessary to know the length of time and overload current. And in this case, it's required that the VFD's maximum output current be larger than the motor's FLA. By ensuring that you have well-matched VFD and motors, you will be able to run your motors at peak performance. When it comes to VFD selection, there are a few more things to take into account besides the electrical specifications. And the application type is one of the most important factors. The more you know about what your application needs from a VFD, the easier it will be to pick the right one because the drive specifications are organized accordingly. Knowing how precise you need in speed regulation is critical. Do you need very high starting torque? Do you need to frequently run heavy duty loads? If you're not demanding in speed control precision and want to use a single inverter to drive several motors at the same time, then a standard VFD based on volt per hertz control mode will work fine. However, for those applications where precise speed control is really necessary, vector control VFDs are probably in demand, which give you very good speed control. Environmental considerations are also of prime concern in making an informed VFD buying decision. Conditions such as ambient temperature, altitude, cooling air supply, and the presence of gas, moisture, and dust should all be considered when choosing a drive. A VFD inverter usually works in a range of ambient temperature from minus 10 to 40 centigrade degrees. When the ambient temperature exceeds its rated range, the inverter will get derated by 5% for every 1 centigrade degree increase. And when the temperature rises by 10 centigrade degrees, the device lifespan can be halved. Therefore, operating a drive beyond its rated temperature is never advisable, and timely cooling is of great significance. The altitude at which your VFD is being installed and used also has an effect on its rated output power as well as cooling efficiency. VFDs are mostly designed to operate at its maximum capacity at altitudes of up to 1000 meters. As the altitude exceeds that limit, the drive's output voltage and current will drop accordingly and so do the cooling properties of the air, because of the decrease in air density as the altitude increases. As a result, the VFD must be oversized to compensate for the derating and decrease in cooling. VFDs will not be subject to condensation if working in environments with a relative humidity not higher than 90%. The excessive humidity or great variations in humidity will render the VFD more susceptible to condensation and lead to the significant decline in its insulation properties and may even cause a short circuit. As such, a desiccation or heating mechanism should be integrated into the enclosure if necessary. For VFD installation, you'll want to consider what elements the drive will be exposed to. 
and among these elements, the conductive metal dust should be accounted one of the factors to get rid of. The intrusion of this dust into the inverter will lead to the internal short circuit of the VFD, and even burn out the internal circuit. AC drives may generate a lot of heat while operating, thus generating the potential need for enclosure ventilation and cooling. For VFDs that are rated at 1000 volts AC or lower voltage, the cooling effect is often achieved by the internal air circulation. On the other hand, the higher power VFD requires cooling fans when working in groups, except for the main drawback being the rather loud working noise of the fan. As an alternative, the water-cooled VFD will get more applauded. So there you have it folks, a general guide on the selection of VFDs for your motor. This addresses some of many variables that have influence on the selecting process. Of course, there are applications and loads that may require special sizing and considerations. If you have any questions about selecting a VFD or have custom requirements, reach out to our tech support via email or phone. Our specialists will help you make the best choice.